ChatGPT rolled out the macOS app to Plus and Team users, and here they say for both free and paid users. So basically, you can go to the website of the OpenAI and download it and start using it. It's basically ChatGPT app on your macOS, on your computer directly, on your laptop. So system requirements are macOS 14 and Apple Silicon and one or better, which is designed and produced by Apple itself. You can read more about it from the website of it. But today I'm going to show you how you can just download, install as usual, any other with like any, any other app for your macOS and open it. So interface is very simple, very easy to use. So ChatGPT models you can select here. So and also you can select other plugins. Since I have plus subscription, I use the GPT for all for testing. And here you can select this button, let's say headphone button here, if you want to talk with ChatGPT and with the microphone bot button, you can just speak and give your uh, prompt uh, as you speak. But I want to show you how you can upload the paper and how you can um, analyze it with this, doc with this app. So upload file, upload photo, it is easy. Take a screenshot. You can even take a screenshot through your, your uh, browser and you can also take a photo and to interact it. Maybe for non-academic purposes, like you can take your, if you have a plant, you can take a photo on your, let's say, uh, phone. You can take a photo of your plant and ask ChatGPT which plant it is and how you should take care of it. I once tried it and it works. So for academic purposes, let's say, uh, this is the uh, the document I want. So ChatGPT here, and I am going to just drag this document here. So it is uploaded now. So I can close this and then I can ask, Please give me a brief summary and key insights from this paper. So this is my own paper, which published last year. And then here it is, a summary and key insights from Paradox of Voting Pedal of the Veto into the Perpetual Peace by me. And the paper by, by Bugatti Brahimov, that's me, explores the complexities and challenges posed by the veto power held by the permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. So this power vested by the UN Charter is intended to maintain global peace and security, but often results in significant obstacles. So this is a nice summary of this paper and a correct one. So historical context and legal framework. So I was basically talking about the UN Charter. And let me see if, give it, if it gives me the exact articles that I was writing from about UN Charter. I don't see them here, but difficult in amending UN Charter. So this is the, one of the main topics that it is really hard for, at, at the current setting. It's almost paradoxically impossible to amend the UN Charter, which I was mentioning that in my article. So this is a nice summary and key insights. So basically, this is what you can do with macOS app. So ChatGPT app for macOS, let's say. And I think they will they will add more functions to it, but that's basically what you can do with it now. So did you use it? I, I think I, I would really uh, be glad to read your comments. Uh, so let me know that in the comments. Please hit like button if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you for your attention.